Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Banigo and I'm a Nigerian content creator based right here in Lagos. To all my returnees, you're welcome if you need. Thank you so much. So guys, yeah, let's talk about what happened with y'all. I mean, I know it's not a funny situation, but it's alarming that this is the right time that y'all decided this is when I want to do this. And to me, I just think it's a big joke. It's the biggest joke ever because, I mean, this is not been now, now your day supposed to break. So guys, um, we realized that on your page, suddenly we didn't see any post of Judy Austin, even the videos um, on set and all that, the movies they did together, everything was deleted. And Linda Ikeji was quick to carry it and post it. I think those people, they just sit down and they're timing these individuals, right? But anyway, guys, to all my returnees, you're welcome and friendly. Thank you so very much for coming back to this channel, right? So, guys, if you don't know what happened, um, an unfortunate incident happened to me and Yol Edochi. They lost their very first son, who was almost 16 years of age. And, you know, it's quite a sad one. And the reason why I just, <laughs> I feel like this is like medicine after death, right? This is medicine after death. What y'all is doing right now, um, deleting pictures of, of um, Judy. And as we heard, he's still not following me on Instagram. They're not, I don't know if May is following him, but he's not following her. But as at when he deleted those pictures, he was still following Judy Austin. Now, fast forward to some hours later, we realized that all the posts on his page were gone. I mean, literally all the posts he ever had on that page were gone. There were no posts. But when you go to the real part where there is real, you're going to see like three posts. There was one where he was dancing with one actress. He left that one. There's another one where he was saying that, um, what was he saying there? He was singing one of those Tiwa Savage songs. Pana, pana, je, je, je. Yeah, he left that one, right? Now, there's one more that he left, one that he was saying, um, ad adem gio dogune me inkane me inkane, you know. And people are already going under those three posts, you may need to go and tackle Yol Edoche, literally. They're tackling him that, oh, you call yourself a dogun, but you allowed Judy to play with you. Now, a lot of eyes are pointed towards Judy, especially because of the post, the last post she made, you know, on Instagram where she was promoting her friend sarah if you remember the lady that um may edoche sued yes that one in particular she does this you know i don't know i want to call it but help you to collect your husband twenty thousand. Help you this like if you want to do any fetish sort of things you know so judy advertised that for a friend and a lot of eyes are pointing towards judy now that okay if you are comfortable to advertise this kind of thing on your page, definitely your hand not clean too. Definitely if you are associated with a friend who is sort of diabolical, then you too, your hand not clean. And it's so shameful that, you know, this friend of Judy has always tried to butt in or put her mouth into, you know, me and your situation. And there was a post she made one time that if you are married to a man uh, that this, that collecting him is allowed or, you know, if you see a man that you like and this and he's married, you can collect him. Like, what are those women even teaching the younger generation, really? That if you see a married man, it's okay to go and collect somebody's husband. Are you kidding me? If the man is separated or divorced anyway, that's a different case. But if he's still in a marriage, it doesn't make sense. Right now, to me, this thing that y'all is doing is medicine after death. Mm. Is medicine after death. Why not now? Now your day break. Where they delete? Wait, what are you deleting posts for? Okay, it takes it took the passing of a child for you to realize, for you to know that you're going to delete. Ah, I they do video now. Mamija, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. So it took the passing of a child for you to realize and know that, you know, certain things, funny enough, eh, you guys should not be surprised that this post that you're deleted, it's not because of me. Mm. It's, it's probably not even because of his son. He probably just deleted posts because he wanted to delete posts because he still has hands to be pressing Instagram now. Somebody that is hot, you're not supposed to be available to be pressing Instagram. For me, I just feel like y'all allowed the devil to just come and enter into this his family because everything was going well you had your wife you had your children everything life was going okay for you guys until you allowed Ike 
to blind your eyes you couldn't see anymore and right now this is where you are and you're coming to delete one stupid post and he deleted and he still left some so they were really blasting him under those posts they were giving him water water and although some people are saying it's not good as allowing money's child you know for what he's going through i'm not saying you know it's good to go and insult him but come off it guys what this man did what y'all did i mean it's beyond me y'all was so proud there was no remorse he kept saying he's a mass pastor he was sent by god there was no sympathy for the wife that he has had for years he gave a nonchalant apology on the internet and the crazy thing was that i heard that before this horrible incident happened to me they boggled a shop i can't confirm that report a hundred percent but it's just yes say that a shop was boggled and then this horrible incident then happened nobody deserves this and i feel like it was your ledoche that exposed this family now funny enough it might not even be judy who did this it might be one who no it might not be anything it might just be life that just happened because life happens but life not happened to us but it might not be judy but at the end of the day, it is what it is. A lot of fingers are going to point towards Judy. A lot of fingers are going to point towards her. And even that her friend, Sarah Martins, who is sort of diabolical. I saw where people were dragging Sarah Martins on Facebook, I think. And she did a video saying that she's looking for that one certain blogger. That the blogger said, oh, they collected her husband. They collected this they use charm on this and the Sarah was like like shouting and complaining in my mind I said ah, auntie so you can complain when you were carrying Judy's picture and you added it to May's family picture what do you think so you're saying by f they don't they don't marry they don't marry him or they don't born you must accept him May must not accept Judy it's not by force that May must accept Judy as a second wife may mustn't it's so unfortunate that this thing that is going on you know a life was lost in the process as men as women because there are women also who are the cause of why their relationship broke they probably cheated they probably did something we should be contented in marriage why you decide that you want to marry somebody eh except is domestic violence okay you sh if it's not domestic violence where the partner is emotionally or physically abusive towards you, abusive towards you, if it's not either of those things, then I think contentment is very important in marriage. Now, when y'all did not expose his family like this, when he was doing it, just him and his wife, the wife was there supporting his political ambition, even though he was already frolicking with um, Judy all around Enugu as we heard. But when he had not gone to marry the Judy or impregnate the Judy, we didn't hear that any child was, you know, passing on. We didn't hear that this was happening. Life was going smoothly for them. They were loving each other happily. They were being in the car singing and vibing. But now this is what it has resulted to. I mean, I don't feel like the family of your I feel like then chop me I wear wear. Because the Baba was always around Judy filming. And do you know how heartbreaking it would have been for, you know, for me, you know, to see that the family are moving on so fine without her, so well without her. They forgot all the years she spent with their son and it was easy for them to just move on to Judy because she was the latest. And right now she's grieving her son. I heard that when the incident happened, she collapsed. Nobody should even pray that this kind of thing should happen to their enemy. So for you all to be deleting Judy's pictures and then going ahead to delete all his other posts. Mm -mm. Odogu. You know Odogu anything. Mm. That is what I would say that y'all as Odogu, you know Odogu anything at all. Because it is like medicine after that. And I don't even think the reason for deleting those pictures probably is even a good cause right but anyway guys i just said to bring that here please let me know what you think in the comment section did you think that y'all is actually doing the right thing by deleting the pictures right now or do you think it's medicine after that like i think also please leave your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you guys in another video bye for now